Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the best builds in NBA 2K24 season number two. Now, the builds I'm showing you today are very well-rounded builds. Now, I'm a very well-rounded player, so all of my builds are going to be well-rounded. I'm going to be showing you a 6'6 six, six guard build, a 6'9 guard build, and also, I got to show my center some love too, a 7'1 center build. And this is my record so far this year in NBA 2K24. I'm telling you guys, I know what builds are the best. I'm not putting out some BS. I'm telling you, man, I know what I'm doing. Look at the record. The record speaks for itself i got a 94 win percent this year so listen take these builds make them and go crazy now i know a lot of you guys are build gurus down below in the comment section so throughout the video let me know down below in the comment section what changes would you make to each build and let me know why so for the point guard position go obviously six foot six you want to put your weight all the way down to 180 pounds in the wingspan go ahead and lower that all the way to six foot seven let's start off with the physicals one of the most important attributes about the build so for the speed you're going to want to put that all the way up to and 86 now the reason we're going 86 is to get that gold speed booster i know it's not popping up right now we still need to upgrade a few other things for it to show but you need an 86 speed so remember that the acceleration put that all the way up to a 73 you don't need high acceleration in this game you just need a 73 strength go ahead and put that all the way up to a 50 the reason why you want a 50 strength attribute is so you can get the clamps badge on silver vertical lead that at a 56 and your stamina go ahead and put that all the way up to a 99 as a guard you need a lot of stamina so for the close shot go ahead and put that all the way up to a 54 no reason for it to be a 54 that's just the lowest it can be um, once you put up these driving layup and driving dunk attributes for the driving layup go ahead and put that all the way up to a 74 we're going with a 74 so we can get that giant slayer on gold all right so for the driving dunk we're gonna put that up to a 75 to unlock those good dunk animations like i said man you guys are gonna see this build is super well-rounded it's good for 2v2 3v3 5v5 rec pro-am all that good stuff and as you guys can see with this build we get gold giant slayer we get bronze slithery bronze acrobat uh silver bunny silver float game pro touch on gold that's really good as well i'm telling you man this build is looking very well-rounded so far with the finishing Leave standing dunk and post control alone. Do not touch that. All right, so for the mid range, you're gonna wanna put that all the way up to a 77, okay? Now for the three ball, we're gonna put that up to a 92. And look at the badges we already get on this build. Silver Agent 3, Gold Blinders, Gold Deadeye, Silver Limitless Range, Gold Catch and Shoot, Gold Corner Specialist. I could go on and on. Gold Green Machine, which is a very important badge to have. You need that this year. We even get some Hall of Fame badges in Tier B. I mean, we get Hall of Fame Claymore, which is really good. We get Gold Guard Up and Gold Open Looks. Very slept on badge and very needed. Now, I do like to play Pro-Am a lot this year, and free throws are kind of difficult. They're not too hard, but they're, you know, a little bit harder than the past previous years. So we're going to put our free throw up all the way to an 81, okay? The reason I'm going 81 is because we just had a couple attributes left over, so we're just going to go ahead and throw it in there. And look at that. We do get silver free points. This is going to help you knock down those free throw shots. Now for the pass accuracy, okay? Now, a lot of people recommend going 70 pass accuracy. You can do it if you want. A lot of people recommend going with a 91 pack pass accuracy. And a lot of people recommend going with like a 92 pass accuracy, 91, 89, anywhere in between that level. But honestly, there's no wrong answer. It's totally up to you. But for me, I'm going to put my pass accuracy all the way up to a 77 to unlock bronze needle threader. Okay, that badge is very slept on, very underrated, and I think it's needed in this game, especially if you're playing a lot of 3v3 and 5v5. Now for the ball handle, man, you guys already know, man, we got to put that all the way up to a 92 so we can get that gold unpluckable and gold handles for days. Speed with ball, we're going to put that all the way up to an 83, ladies and gentlemen, to get that gold speed booster and gold hyperdrive. You can put the speed with ball up a little more if you want, but honestly, there's no point because it doesn't unlock, you know, any other badges so honestly i don't think you're going to be dribbling much faster you know with an 86 compared to an 83 and you don't unlock any more badges so you might as well stick with an 83 speed with ball now for your perimeter defense you're going to want to put that all the way up to an 87 now this build is super good on the 3v3 and the 5v5 court okay now obviously you're not going to be guarding inside or any of that stuff because your build can't at a six foot six you're limited bro really any build you got to sacrifice uh, the attributes that you need to sacrifice this year and honestly 
you don't, there's no point going interior on a six foot six. You're playing your role, so stick with a 27. But your perimeter needs to be an 87, and the reason we're going with an 87 perimeter is to unlock that gold challenger, okay? That is gonna help you out a lot on the perimeter when someone, you know, these sharps try to shoot these limitless shots. You're gonna be there, and you're gonna be able to contest their shots. Now for this build, I'm going with a 91 still rating to unlock that gold glove, that gold interceptor, and gold right stick ripper, bro. Those badges right there, all three, are insane okay so we're rocking with a 91 still we're not going to put any block because you know i run zone um when i run 5v5 or 3v3 so i'm not going to really be in the paint much um i'm gonna have my big man get the stops for me so no block no offensive rebound and we're going to stick with a 42 defensive rebound rating and let me know what you guys think about this build overall down below in the comment section i mean dude i think this build is solid look at the defense silver clamps 94 feet on silver um fast feet on silver look at it overall bro this thing is just overall good we get speed booster on gold we have a 92 three ball i mean look at us bro open looks on gold overall this build is crazy it can dunk shoot play make and get stops on the perimeter man let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comment section and the build name is going to be called a two-way three-point shot creator let me know what you guys think about this build down below in the comment section let's move on to build number two all right so ladies and gentlemen this is my favorite build on nba 2k24 so far we got a lot of new people watching the videos i did post this one you know like last week or so so if you haven't seen this i'm telling you right now this is the best build in the game um overall very well rounded but let's get into it all right so you're gonna want to go shooting guard position so you can get that six foot nine height okay we're going six foot nine the weight we're gonna put it at 186 pounds and we're gonna put the wingspan at seven foot three now i know we're taller we're just going with a slightly shorter wingspan so we can unlock those really good shooting badges like gold green machine and gold open looks but you guys are gonna see later on how crazy this build is so let's go ahead and continue and let's start off with the physical so for the speed put that at an 80 just trust me don't go less don't go more stick with an 80 the acceleration put that all the way up to a 73 i think acceleration matters to a certain extent especially on these taller guard builds so get, go 73 acceleration the strength we're going to put that all the way up to a 74 so we unlock that bronze bulldozer very effective badge and a lot of fun to use vertical we're going to put that all the way up to an 82 um, to unlock those contact dunk animations and for the stamina we're going to put that all the way up to a 99 we're tall we got to be able to move and uh, dribble for the shot clock close shot ladies and gentlemen let's go ahead and put that all the way up to a 67 no particular reason that's just what our driving layup and driving dunk attributes are going to put it at so put it at a 67 for the driving layup we're going to put that at an 87 okay i know it's extremely high but you guys know man the reason why we're doing that is to get that gold fearless finisher badge and to unlock the lebron james layup animation which is the best layup animation in the game and for the driving dunk we're gonna put that at a 94 we get every single contact dunk in the game except for the very last one which really isn't needed i mean who cares you get all of them except the last one and it's honestly not that impressive so we're going with a 94 driving dunk to basically get every single contact dunk in the game and take a look at the badges we get so far man we get gold posterizer hall of fame slithery we get gold precision dunker i'm telling you man the meter dunks are op in this game bro very op we get hall of fame bunny hall of fame spin cycle hall of fame two-step i'm telling you man we are a finishing demon in this game standing dunk has to be a 49 if i could i would put it down to a 45 like this but it's going to drop our driving dunk okay so if you guys want to tweak this build you can use it as a template but at a standing dunk at a 45 you do unlock some of the standing dunk animations but we're going to rock with a 94 driving dunk and a 49 standing dunk all right, so we're six foot nine, so we gotta put our post control up all the way up to a 92. And as you guys can see, we get that gold unpluckable, bro. You guys know stills are already OP, so you know, I mean, we can't go with a low post control. We gotta get that gold unpluckable. I mean, look at the badges we get too. We get gold drop stepper, we get silver dream shake, um, post fade phenom. That's actually gonna go up to Hall of Fame, I believe, once we put up our mid-range. But yeah, we get oh, we also get Hall of Fame post spin technician. That is very um, effective when you go up against AIs, you can just do a post spin against them because you go, you guys know, man, those AIs are annoying in the 1v1 mode. So definitely rock with this. For the mid range shot, we're going to put that all the way up to an 88. Now, the reason we're going with an 88 mid range shot is to get that. You see, look on the right side, we get that gold green machine, and we also we get open looks on gold as well. Okay, I think gold green machine is OP this year. Definitely worth putting on your build. Three point shot. Now, listen, like I said, man, use this build as a template. 
Honestly, I think I could go with the 73 ball and be fine. Now, some people shoot better than others. Some people struggle more than others. So this is totally up to you. This is all preference. Um, I'm going to be rocking with a 78 three ball. No specific reason. I just think this is my sweet spot this year. The free throw, I left that at a 63. Now, I know a lot of you guys, you know, like I said, you guys are build gurus in the comment section. So like I said, man, use this build as a template. Now on this build, I mainly play the 1v1 mode in the theater the most. So I don't put up any pass accuracy. There's no one to pass to, so I don't put it up. So on this build, I put it at a 50. But down below in the comment section, let me know on a six foot nine build, what would you recommend putting the pass accuracy up to? I think you could like low key rock with like a 70 or a 77. But on this build, I mainly play one. So we're going to rock with a 50. The ball handle, we're going to put that all the way up to an 80. Okay, the reason we're going 80 ball handle is to unlock that silver handles for days on the right side. I know you guys see it. Speed with ball, we're going to put that all the way up to 75 to unlock that silver hyperdrive and with the 75 speed with ball you unlock the magic johnson dribble style which is basically the best dribble style in the game especially for tall guards go with the 75 speed with ball it's op now for the interior we put that up all the way up to a 74 to get that post move lockdown to stop those annoying post scores for the perimeter we're gonna put that all the way up to an 87 just like the last build you guys already know why we get that gold challenger to stop people shooting from the three-point range now for the steel we're gonna go ahead and max that out at an 85 so we get that silver glove and it's still very op in this game you get lots of plucks i don't know if mike wang's ever gonna stop it but hey we gotta rock with the 85 still to get that silver glove but this is the six foot nine build i went with this year let me know down below in the comment section what would you change about this obviously if you play twos threes or fives you're gonna want to put that pass accuracy up you don't want it at a 50 but that's what i'm rocking with right now because i mainly play 1v1 on this build but overall, I think this build is goaded. Let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comment section. And this build is going to be called a two-way three-level threat. Let me know what you guys think about this build down below in the comment section, man. We're on to build number three. We're showing the center some love. All right, so here we are on the final best build so far in season two of NBA 2K24. And you guys already know, man, I got to show my big men some love, bro. I'm not going to lie. Playing big man is probably one of my favorite positions to play in especially in the 5v5 setting so let me show you guys what the best build is so far for a center and like i said man every build i like to make is very well rounded so for the height we're gonna go seven foot one um for the weight we're gonna go 246 pounds and the wingspan we're gonna go seven foot nine to get some of these shooting badges let's start off with the physicals the speed put that all the way up to a 60 we're gonna leave our acceleration at a 45 that is not important we're not gonna be dribbling with the ball so we're gonna leave our acceleration at a 45 now for the strength hey man we're putting that all the way up to a 90 look on the right side man we get a movable forcer on gold we get brick wall on gold that is not only just used for screens but that is for paint defense as well a lot of people don't know that all right so make sure you put 90 strength to get that gold brick wall vertical we're gonna put that all the way up to a 75 i think that's just a sweet spot this year and for the stamina, we're going to put that all the way up to a 97. For the close shot, we're going to put that all the way up to a 57. Now, I'm going to explain why I go with these attributes, okay? Close shot this year. If you are contested in the paint, it doesn't matter if you get gold masher. You know, it doesn't matter what badges you get. If you are contested this year in the 5v5 setting, you're going to miss. You're going to miss. So the close shot is not important. And so we're going to leave it at a 57. Now for the driving layup, we're going to put that at a 53. We're not going to be laying the ball up at all. Okay. Let's leave that at a 53. We are going to be doing lots of standing dunks. Okay. So don't worry about a lot of these attributes. Now for the driving dunk, we're going to put that all the way up to a 73. I know you guys see on the right side, we unlock that bronze posterizer, which is key. Okay. 73 driving dunk is key on this build. Now, the most OP and most important attribute on this build is the standing dunk, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to put that all the way up to a 92. And as you guys can see on the right side, man, we get gold fast twitch. We get gold rise up, aerial wizard on gold, and precision dunker on gold. Now, listen, the meter dunks this year are so OP, especially for the standing dunks. So that is the sole reason why we're going with such a high standing dunk. We get that gold precision dunker. It's going to be OP. Now for the way I play, I don't need post control. I'm only getting the ball when I'm dunking it, setting screens, you know, on the pick and roll. So we're going to leave the post control at a 30. Use this build as a template. Change what you want. Like I said down below in the comment section, let me know the changes you would make to these builds. 
Now for the mid-range shot, we're going to put that all the way up to an 82, man. Look at the badges that we get. We get gold catch and shoot, and we also get gold guard up. This build is not a one-trick pony. This build is going to be able to do everything. It's going to be super OP. Now for the three ball, okay, you already know, man, we got to shoot, okay? We're in 5v5 Pro-Am. We got to be able to shoot, okay? So we're going to put the three ball all the way up to a 76, and look at the badges we get. We also get corner specialist on silver. Look at us, man. We're going crazy. The free throw, we're going to put that all the way up to an 80 so we get that free points on silver. The pass accuracy, man. A lot of centers be lacking on this attribute. But ladies and gentlemen, we're going to put it all the way up to a 92 to get that Hall of Fame break starter. As soon as we get that rebound, boom, I'm dotting the guard every single time down the court. And take a look, we also get gold dimer, gold needle threader, uh, gold relay passer, Hall of Fame special delivery, gold touch passer. We're looking OP on the playmaking end of this build. Ball handle, lead that at a 57. And speed with ball, um, lead that at a 27 right now. Naturally, it's going to go up to a 28 later on. I guess we might as well put it up. Just go ahead and put it up to a 28. For the interior, put that all the way up to a 77. We're going to end up needing gold anchor. So leave that at a 77 at the moment. For the perimeter, put that up to a 60, okay? People are going to be playing five out. You know, you're going to be able to try to get some stops on the perimeter. So leave it at a 60. For the still, likewise, put that all the way up to a 60 as well. So we can get that bronze interceptor badge now for the block rating okay we're gonna put that all the way up to a 92 and look what we get ladies and gentlemen we get that gold anchor we also get silver pogo stick which is good as well and we get silver chase down artist but the reason we go 92 block is solely for that gold anchor now we're going with a 93 offensive rebound to get that Hall of Fame box out beast. Okay, we're going to be going crazy on the boards. It's going to be crazy, okay? So we get that gold pogo stick as well, and we also get gold rebound chaser. Now for the defensive rebound, we're going to put that all the way up to an 82 because that's basically what the remaining attributes were left. So this is the build overall. It can do everything. I mean, look at this, bro. It gets a 92 pass sack. You're going to be able to dot anybody on the court. You can shoot, get standing dunks, and we're even going to be able to contest the perimeter, okay? We're going to be able to get blocks and get rebounds. Overall, just go crazy. And let me show you guys what the shades are on this build. We get Victor Wimbanyama. That's actually nuts. This build is seven foot one. It can do everything, man. And this build is going to be called a diming mid-range threat. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more build videos coming up uh, throughout the season, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe. I'm going to see you guys in the next one, man. I'm out. Peace.